what's up guys and welcome to day one of reserve welcome to the vlog i'm going to cancun so i totally screwed up today i did not bring my camera i told myself i wasn't gonna vlog i was assigned airport standby so i was like eh, it's gonna be boring i'm not gonna have an exciting day i'll probably come home they're not gonna use me so i didn't record anything then what do you know, I get assigned a trip and I'm going to Cancun. I am so excited. I've never overnighted in an international country before. I have only in overnighted in the United States, so I'm really excited about that. But the problem is I only packed winter gear. All I have is a jacket and two long sleeve thermals. Ugh. Never would I have thought that I would ever get this overnight. I mean, flight attendants will sell their babies for these trips. So I don't know how I got it. Somebody got food poisoning or something. All I know is I'm going to Cancun. So I got some time here in San Francisco. There is a mall nearby. I'm going to go to that mall. I'm going to find a summer outfit that I could wear because everything I have is long sleeve. And uh, yeah, um, that's it. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to Cancun. Ugh. But the flight is so full, so I can't even bring Nick with me. And I'm going to be alone, and I hate that. I love experiencing stuff with him. So, But this is good. I could scope it out. I could see if he would like it. And then we, maybe we could do like a trip there or something. Uh, but yeah. So I've been looking around for the past hour. And honestly, I keep getting distracted and picking up all this stuff. Really, I just need one outfit. So I just got this simple t-shirt dress and I'm calling it a day before I go and spend all my money right now on clothes that I really don't need. Okay, I just got back into the room. This is the dress that I got. It fits okay. It's just better than wearing a jacket <laughs> and jeans in 80 degree weather. So yeah, I'm probably gonna eat now. And so this is the dress that I got. Just a plain t-shirt dress, nothing too crazy about it, nothing fancy about it. It's just better than obviously wearing a thermal <laughs> and some jeans in 80 degree weather. So I am all set for Cancun and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody. I just made it on my deadhead flight. I am headed to LA right now and then I am going to work the flight to Cancun. This trip has been weird. Um, I'll explain a little bit later but um, yeah so it's 6 in the morning right now. I should be getting there like around 8 and we're going to Cancun. Yay!
What's up guys? I am in Cancun right now. I just walked into the room and oh my gosh, look at this view from my balcony. Oh my goodness. It's nighttime now so you can't really see anything, but you see that? That right there is the ocean. I am so excited, oh my gosh. Yay! Okay, so right now me and the crew are gonna get ready in about 30 minutes or so. We are gonna go down to a couple of bars and restaurants and eat and probably drink some. Oh, I want a michelada. That is what I love to get from Mexico. I hope they have them here. Uh, gonna have some tacos, I'm so excited. And uh, yeah, and we don't have to be in the airport until 5.25 tomorrow, 5.25 p.m., yes. So we get to see some sunshine, hopefully. Uh, the weather app says it's gonna be a bit cloudy, but hopefully we'll get some sun peeking out so I can show you guys how nice the water is. And that's it, and I will take you guys with me so you guys can see. Ooh, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Good morning, everybody. I am so sorry. I didn't really catch any good video last night. It was just way too dark everywhere we went and it's way too loud. But I am here in Cancun and I am going to go down to the beach in a few. I'm going to get some uh, coffee and a bagel and I'm going to go sit out by the water because the weather is beautiful. It's a little overcast, it's cloudy, but it's okay. The weather's still nice. It's in the 80s, so it feels warm. And I'm in the same outfit as last night because that is all I brought. And then I, and I stained it yesterday. I stained it, so I had to wash it. So that's why I have this big old watermark. But anyways, um, it's drying up. And that's the thing being on reserve is um, you should know that you can get put on anything so I should have had something warm just in case but I mean the odds of me getting a Cancun overnight were like slim to none but I got it but anyways that's a lesson for me to keep at least one summer outfit in my bag just in case because you never know with reserve you really don't Anyway, so I'm gonna go down to the beach in a few and um, look, this, this is how the weather is right now. It is cloudy a little bit. The sky, see, this patch keeps getting, like, it goes big and then it gets small. And then, but over here, it's like really cloudy. But it's okay, we're gonna make it work. It's still pretty hot outside. So this is it. This is the end of my trip to Cancun. I'm just enjoying this last 30 minutes of beautiful weather until we have to go to the airport and come back home. Uh, but as I was sitting here on the balcony, I was re-watching the videos from earlier and I realized that I didn't explain to you guys the trip and why it was so weird. Um, so here I am at the end explaining <laughs> this crazy trip so my first day i got called for an early airport standby for those of you who don't know what airport standby is i have to sit in the lounge at the airport for five hours and they can assign whatever they need crew scheduling can assign me to whatever they need me to work that day Oh, that was a hard explanation. Basically, I'm just sitting at the airport and I'm on call at the airport in case they need me like right away. 
So I got called um, while I was at the airport on airport standby for a turn. So what a turn means is that I go somewhere and I come back. It's, you know, just one day. So I got assigned a turn to San Jose, California. So I'm doing the turn on my way back. I was actually explaining to the flight attendant I was working with, well, not explaining to her, but I was telling her like, oh my God, I've never worked an international trip before. I've never had an international. So then I checked my board and what do you know? They added on this trip. Um, But what was weird about it is they had me deadheading. What deadhead means is I'm a passenger and they send me somewhere. Uh, So they deadheaded me to San Francisco. I stayed the night in San Francisco and then they deadheaded me back. And then from LA, I work here to Cancun, stay the night and then work one back. So it was just weird to me. Like, why didn't they just send me home? You know, they would have saved money. They would have, but whatever I'm getting paid for. I was getting paid for it. So I'm not complaining, but it was just, it was weird how they did it. So that was my, uh, it's my weird trip that ended up turning into this beautiful gem. I mean, look at this. Look at what I'm looking at. Oh, paradise. Paradise. Look at that. Anyways, guys, this wraps up my video. I will see you guys back in LA. It was so much fun. And see you in the next reserve block.